Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Justin Proper, and today we're going to be talking about The Mandalorian, a new show on Disney Plus that came out last night with the launch of the streaming service. I gotta just say, uh, I'm really, I, I mean, this really was just probably the worst, one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. All right, I'm totally kidding. It was actually really great. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but I really did, I really did enjoy it. It kind of upsets me because it shows that Disney is very much capable of providing quality Star Wars content, but with the last couple of movies, we haven't really gotten that. And even with some of the shows, like I've heard about uh, Star Wars Resistance, wasn't really getting like as many uh, favorable impressions. Let's just get into some of the details of The Mandalorian. So we start out uh, with Pedro Pascal's character, kicking some ass, you had him drag someone and a door just shuts and cuts his body in half. You don't really see too much blood or anything, but still kind of cool. Um, with the special effects, the CGI and the practicals work very well together. Uh, there was this giant sea monster at the beginning that was really cool. Um, Brian Posey's, I believe that's his name, uh, he had a cameo in there and he was really funny, and I liked some of the quick backstory that you got uh, from the from Pedro Pascal's character. Um, I think Carl Weathers did a good job, and I think there are a couple more characters that are going to be introduced in later episodes that did not appear in this one, so if you were expecting them, uh, they're not going to show up until later. But the ending of the episode was kind of strange, and uh, for people who haven't seen it yet, uh, just a quick spoiler warning. You had a green little alien that kind of looked like Yoda, or whatever his species was, and it was... Apparently Apparently, 50 years old is what they had mentioned. So this predates, I believe it predates the prequel trilogy era by perhaps like 15 years or something like that. So I don't know exactly where they're going to go with it, but they do have a lot of great ideas that they're being presented right now. But one of the things that got to bother me a little bit was the music. You know, that's just one of the things that I just thought would be a little bit more like Star Wars-esque, but it, you know, it has, it, it was fine to me, but you know, it is what it is. Generally, uh, I, I enjoyed it and it was kind of a breath of fresh air because I could tell that, you know, Dave, Filoni, you know, he did a great job directing. The acting was great. Set pieces were awesome. If you have Disney+, Plus, uh, definitely go check that out. The second episode, I believe, is going to be released on Friday. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And then it's going to be weekly afterwards. So yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, looking to see what direction this goes. Because it was just like a, the, the, the little creature was just like a little baby. So why was there a bounty on this baby? That's just... That to me is just, I mean, I don't really know what this little thing could have possibly have done. And it looked kind of adorable too. But uh, nevertheless, uh, if you have seen it already, let me know what you thought of it in the comments section down below. Uh, this came out on Disney Plus, which does have some technical issues. And I'm going to make a video about that a little later. Uh, explaining it more in detail what some of the issues that I have with it are, but so far, a great selection of content. The Mandalorian gave a great first impression. I hope it only gets better from here, because if that's the bar that they said, is that, if that's as bad as it gets, then I think we're in for a pretty good ride, especially in comparison to the last couple of products that we've gotten from Disney Star Wars. This is m much, much better. It's the kind of quality content that I would expect from Star Wars, that I would want to see, and I am very pleased of it so far, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it too, hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, hit the like button, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you, please share the video, thank you all so much, and have a great day.